So this is a little vintage bag that I picked up in a small vintage shop in my hometown. And the lady who runs the shop said that it dates around the late 1920s or like early 1930s. And this is what they used to wear with like flapper dresses going out at night. It has a few damaged spots, but I still love it. And I think that's the beauty of collecting something when you can take something from another time period and just appreciate like the beauty and what it might've been like back then. Hi, my name is Morgan and I collect luxury designer handbags. My collection began when I really started noticing fashion and style and I always looked up to stylish women and it was always the handbags that made the outfit for me. My first memory of a designer bag was going into the coach store with my mom. I grew up in a very small town and we didn't have designer stores like we have here in Dubai and coach was considered like the store. And I just remember window shopping with her as she was like picking out her handbags. I started off collecting with like Coach and even like Juicy Couture back in the day, those kind of smaller bags. And I remember more vividly, my first luxury bag was a Marc Jacobs red bowler bag, which I still have today. So this was my very first luxury designer bag that I got from Saks Fifth Avenue. My dad gave this to me for Christmas and I saw this there and I just had to have it. I don't know why I was gravitating towards red at that time in my life. This bag is definitely not the trendiest now, but I keep it because it was my very first and it has its war marks and everything. The corners are kind of worn out, but this bag is over 16 years old now, so you can expect a little bit of wear. <laughs> I think I've always just been drawn to beautiful things. I collect art and scarves and shoes as well. And handbags I feel are like that piece of wearable art that finishes off a look. And I get a lot of enjoyment out of discovering new designers and different styles. And I love the history behind bags as well. My collection brings me a lot of joy and I think it's a source of creativity for me since I've redone how I store and display my bags. I just get so excited to wake up every morning and when I'm getting dressed, I can pick the bag that goes with my outfit and that's just such a source of how I can express myself throughout the day. I don't really think I have an end goal with collecting, it's more of a journey. So whatever I'm kind of gravitating towards, that's how my collection shifts. But I've learned the hard way not to let the ones go that I'm not loving at the moment because fashion comes in cycles and I always go back to those styles that maybe I'm not loving at the moment. 